Parents of Pierce Corcoran receiving friends tonight as they say goodbye to their son. Services going on at Central Baptist Church of Fountain City through 8 o'clock tonight with a funeral service to follow. As we've been telling you, Corcoran was killed Saturday in a crash on Chapman Highway. He is the son of Knoxville Fire Department spokesperson Captain G.J. Corcoran. Pierce's obituary says he tried his hand at every sport possible, including golf, soccer, tennis, and running. He graduated from Grace Christian Academy in 2015 and worked at FedEx Express. He was 22. WATE sits on your side. Reporter Blake Stevens speaking with the assistant fire chief earlier today. He joins us now live in the newsroom. And Blake, I can only imagine this is a tough time really for the entire fire department. Yeah, Bo, they're all taking this hard. Assistant Chief Mark Wilbanks explaining Captain Corcoran was in Memphis when this happened. So the Firefighters Association reached out to fire departments in both Memphis and Nashville for help. Firefighters in Memphis drove Corcoran to Nashville, and Nashville firefighters brought him somewhere around Cookville. Then Knoxville firefighters brought him home. Now, Fire Station 13, just in walking distance from where uh, Pierce Corcoran was hit head on Saturday. Assistant Fire Chief Mark Wilbanks telling me firefighters are trained on coping with tragedy and deaths. He says responding to a call involving one of your own's child is hard for all of them. I don't know how you get through the loss of a child. I, I can't even fathom how you deal with it. I don't know how he's dealing with today, much less tomorrow and the next day. Um, the grief has got to be just incredible. Will Banks saying virtually all of the fire department will be there at those services tonight supporting their brother, DJ. Will Banks asked DJ if he was okay with us doing an interview with him earlier today. Corcoran said yes, if we talked about Chapman Highway. We've reported dozens of crashes along that stretch connecting South Knoxville to, to Sevierville. Corcoran wanting drivers to start the new year off right by slowing down not driving distracted and wearing a seatbelt. Guys, back to you. Thank you so much, Blake. Undoubtedly, he is wanting people to learn from the tragedy they're going through right now. Yeah. You know, as we mentioned, the crash happened Saturday along Chapman Highway. It was right there near Gwynfield Drive. Police saying a pickup traveling northbound crossed into the southbound lanes, hit Corcoran's car, causing then a chain reaction crash. Investigators say Franco Cambrani Francisco Eduardo was driving that Chevrolet truck. He faces charges of criminally negligent homicide, driving without a license, and no insurance. He also faces immigration violation charges.